going on guys I'm gonna do a quick little feeding video a couple of new things I picked up here's the platinum angels give them some blood worms I lost one of these guys not really sure why it was super beat up so maybe they're fighting I don't know really what's going on you see this other one back here if it'll focus in I guess it doesn't want to focus he's got a real weird like gill plate something like on the side of him it looks like not really sure what it's from that's them picking on some blow worms here we got the convicts some fry in there Let's see if they'll eat some blow worms Male's gonna come right over. He's got some real nice fins on him. He's pretty sweet. It's the only reason I kind of keep them. Because they got some real nice fins. This male's fins are super long. I've never seen them like that before. Here's the black angels and the marble angel. Shoot them some blow worms. Still haven't moved this marble in with the other marbles that I think are females. Right here we got the cool angels. We got some more blow worms. These guys are right here. They're about due for a water change. They go nuts for the blow worms. You can see the silvers on the other side trying to pick at them. Pretty happy with how these are turning out. Got a couple nice ones. Some good amount of gold. Other ones like this with no gold at all. Give the silver some. Here's the marbles, give them some. Down below is that blue tilapia. I ended up moving my female jag in here. I was more worried about her beating the tilapia up, but it turns out this blue tilapia killed my female jag I had. I was pretty upset about that. But what are you gonna do, it's all part of it. These guys, some more blood worms. Put them in this little syringe, it's easier to feed. Got the big Mallory group. Let's see if they'll come out and eat. Sorry for the awful glare, there's one coming out of a rock. Guess they don't want to eat. Here's the big King Confer. Getting pretty big. Over here's the female Super Red Dragon. And over here was a rose queen. Doesn't look like it's doing so hot. I don't really know why. Got it from a pretty reputable breeder. Actually, Mike from Michael's Fisher picked this up for me. I'll put a link to his channel in my description. He went to a big fish auction and got me this and another fish you'll see later on in the video. But it doesn't like seem like it's doing so hot. Down below, got the Rio Magombies. They're for sale if you're local in South Jersey, interested in some umbies. I got them, nice male, they're Rio Mags. The male's probably around four and a half inches or so. Females over here, haven't really seen any breeding activity out of them. She's gonna come out, she's looking pretty good. Can't really tell, but she's getting pretty like yellowish to her. The male's got a lot of nice freckles in his face. Some up on them. Up here, the OBZ, Rest and Spill, there's a male Aratus, Super Red Dragon, Playco, a big mix of just stuff in here. Shoot them some blood worms. See the female. Flower horn, the man man. Playco's doing a good job cleaning this algae up. You can actually see in the tank now, which is pretty cool. Found a Stratus getting some. Down here, the baby Africans. Them tear them up. Now in this tank, we got a gold clown knife. Something pretty sweet. Picked him up at a good price. Mike also got me this. Pretty happy. It's for a buddy of mine, David. So I'm holding him until he gets that tank set up. And then he's going to take him to his house. He's got a bunch of tanks too. He's about like five minutes down the road from me. So this is going to him. See if it's going to eat. 
up here, the glow, free glowfish. They were free from Craigslist. Some guy was going to flush them or whatever, so I ended up taking them. A little clawed frog in the back and a bunch of those. Uh, Zebra Placo, Spiny Monster Placo, Albino, Longfin, Blue Eyed, Bushy Nose Placo. See if they're going to do nothing, probably. Up here, we got the trio of double black uppies and three gold severums. Shoot them some glowworms as a shot of the bigger guys. Let's see, they should eat Focus. There we go. They're all picking at them. Down here is the big mix of the Argente. There's some Feste, Red Texas, some Pink Convicts. There's a female Red Tiger Muda somewhere in there, a Koi Parrot. Give them some blowworms. Feeding them a lot of blowworms, brine shrimp, a lot of frozen food. You get them to grow. We're doing like 50% water changes once a week. Trying to get them to grow pretty good. Good amount of blowworms left. They get all that. I'm just getting nuts. That's pretty much how I get my fry to grow pretty quick. Feed them heavy much as I can the day like the days I'm home from school and work I'll feed them probably three times a day frozen food at least twice blood worms or brine shrimp or some ground up krill something like that and then they'll get a big 50% water change at least once a week see I'm picking up off the bottom the Argente right there some Texas there's a gold Jaguar in there little pink convicts koi parrot some feste. So I'll dump the rest of that in there. This tank's the front of this tank's pretty dirty. You gotta wipe it down so you can see in it. Up above the big boys, they get tilapia, which I don't have any filled out for the video, but they'll be getting that later. Feeding them the Hikari blood parrot food, 40% protein, fish meal, flaked, corn, wheat flour, Berber's dried yeast, not the best ingredients, but I was given to me when I got the one roast queen you might have seen in my past video, so test it out and see, sorry about that, my camera cut out, see everybody going nuts, big jag, doing good. He's eating the par uh, pellets, parrots, the red devil, nice red Texas. Here's the female red devil. Here's the flower horn with this junk still on him. He can't seem to shake it. Fader flower horn. Little parrot in the back. Jag getting some pellets. King Kong parrot, the my devil. I have noticed a difference in this mud devil. He's definitely darkened up a lot. This is all, he's pretty sweet. There's a black belt. Doing good. Let's see if these guys lead any pellets. Buy fast, you got all this. Red Devil, Super Red Dragon, Flower Horn. These guys, I've been feeding these guys the pellets too. She gobbles them right down. He gobbles them right down. I'm hoping that this Rose Queen will come around. Hate to lose them. Down below, empty tank. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Over here, we got an empty 75. Empty 120, looking for some big fish. Thinking of maybe another arowana. I had a real big one. It was in this tank in the before. And it decided to break the lid. And see over here, there's no piece of, there's no lid. Because he broke it, he hit the top, shattered the lid, and I found him on the floor the next day. 
measured him out. He was like 26 inches or so. It's before I was on YouTube. Then I had another one that my big alligator gar killed. Wasn't happy about that. Getting more into the bigger stuff. And the placos are growing on me too. These are pretty sweet. Let's see if I can find them. There's an L271. Brown zebra placo. There's the little spiny monster placo. I cleaned this tank, what, two days ago? You wouldn't you wouldn't think that, but they're just munching on the driftwood, I guess. There's the rubber placo. I got two of them in here. This is a new guy running right along the bottom. This is an albino. Uh, red eye chocolate placo. Losses in here. This is a little long, thin, blue eyed, bushy nose placo. Some cool stuff. Something different to get in there. Finish with a shot of the big boys in the 220. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. This is also a new project in the works. It's a little reef tank I'm trying to get going. It's a 20 long, nothing too crazy. I bought a 56 gallon, but I just thought it was too big. It was too expensive to get lights and the protein skimmer and everything for it. So I just started going with this one. Right now, all that's in is a little domino damsel to cycle it. Tested my nitrates. They're still coming out slightly purple. But I bought a big piece of live rock and a piece of this cured rock. So that should help speed it up. We just want to do some simple zoas. Some Xenia, something like that. Something to make it look nice, but nothing too complex. So you'll be seeing a little bit more of this tank as it comes along.